What's going on everyone, this is the Mac Roberts back again with another NBA 2K21 My Player Builder video and today we're going to be taking a look at the best Sharif Abdurrahim builds. Now Sharif has become a forgotten star of the late 90s and 2000s. Uh, he was taken in the super stacked 1996 draft, third overall, after a really good year at Cal and he was taken by the Vancouver Grizzlies. He played for that team during the team's first few years alongside big country Brian Reeves and was really solid, but nobody really cared because the team wasn't winning. They just didn't, they never made the playoffs while he was there. Uh, he was, however, selected to play in the 2000 Olympics before being traded to his hometown Atlanta Hawks the next season for Pau Gasol. With the Hawks, he paired with Jason Terry and made his only all star team in 2002, but still, Reef couldn't bring the team to the playoffs. Knee injuries started to affect his play, and he would retire at the age of 31 after being traded to the Blazers and then signing with the Kings, where, ironically enough, he finally made the playoffs. That trade from Atlanta to Portland got the Hawks Rasheed Wallace, and after one game, he got sent to the Pistons. But that Hawks Wallace jersey has become a rare commodity because of it. So, without further ado, let's get into the build. Position is going to be power forward, hand in this doesn't matter, jersey number also doesn't matter, I just chose three, because that's the number he wore in his prime with the Grizzlies and the Hawks. For the pie chart, we're going to go with the more green than blue pie chart. And for the physical profile, we're going to go with the balanced physical profile. Now for the attributes, you're going to bring your close shot up to an 83. Your driving duck up to a 68. Your standing duck up to a 73. Your post duck up to a 79. And that's going to give you 12 finishing badges. For shooting, you're going to max out your mid-range shot. Max out your three-point shot. Bring your free throw up to a 70. And bring your post fade up to an 81. And that's going to give you 16 shooting badges. For playmaking, you're going to bring your pass accuracy up to a 64. Your ball handling up to a 61. And you're going to max out your post moves. And that's going to give you 13 playmaking badges. Lastly, for defense and rebounding, you're going to max out your interior defense. Bring your block up to a 70. Max out your offensive rebound. And you're going to max out your defensive rebounding. And that's going to give you 6 defense and rebounding badges. So 12 finishing, 16 shooting, 13 playmaking, and 6 defense and rebounding badges is a total of 47 badges. Body shape doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go with defined. Height is going to be 6'9". Weight. Now, Reef was 225 pounds, but if you bring him down to 225 pounds, his interior defense is severely lacking, and he was solid on the block on the defensive end. So we're actually going to max out the uh, weight to 277 pounds, or to get the max interior defense. Uh, if you bring it up any higher, you're not going to get any more uh, points in interior defense. So that's why we're bringing it down to 277 pounds. And for your wingspan, you're going to bring it up to 87 inches. So at 99 overall, you're going to have a close shot of 88, a 50 driving layup, a 70 driving dunk, a 79 standing dunk, and an 83 post hook. For your shooting stats, you're going to have an 80 mid-range shot, a 77 three-point shot, a 74 free throw, and an 85 post fade. For your playmaking, you're going to have a 68 pass accuracy, a 65 ball handle, and an 80 post moves. And for your defense and rebounding, you're going to have a 79 interior defense, a 75 block, a 72 offensive rebound, and a 78 defensive rebound. Your physicals at 99 overall with the gym right badge are going to be 68 for speed, 63 for acceleration, 77 for vert, and 89 for strength. For the takeover, I would go with either the glass cleaner takeover or the post score takeover. Uh, it's completely up to you. Normally, I would go with the post score takeover, but his rebounding is actually really low, and he was a really solid rebounder. So I'm going to go with the glass cleaner takeover. And the build is complete, and you have built a three-level scorer, shades of John Collins, Kevin Love, and Tom Chambers. Now for your badges, for your finishing badges, you're going to put back down punisher on bronze, consistent finisher on bronze, contact finisher on gold, drop stepper on gold, pro touch on bronze, and relentless finisher on gold. For your shooting badges, you're going to put catch and shoot on silver, corner specialist on silver, dead eye on silver, flexible release on silver, hot zone hunter on gold, and pick and popper on gold with range extender on silver. For your playmaking badges, you're going to put Break Starter on gold, Unpluckable on gold, Dream Shake on gold, Post Pen Technician on gold, 
and quick first step on bronze. And for your defense and rebounding badges, you're going to put box on gold and rebound chaser on gold. All right, everyone, this has been the best Sharif Abdul Rahim build. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon and join the Penny Face Squad. That'd be greatly appreciated. It helps out the channel overall. And you'll also be kept up with everything we do in the channel. So you don't want to miss any of that. Drop a comment below and let me know what you thought of the build. I'm taking requests. So if you have a build that you want to see me make, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll try to make that build for you. I'm making builds every single day for next gen. Uh, I'm not doing current gen so much anymore, but I'll do it for a quest. So if you have a current gen build that you want to see me make, let me know in the comment section below as well. Just say, hey, I want this build for current gen, and I'll try to make that build up for you. Last but not least, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.